So I'm going to start uh, using a, a brush called, uh, actually it's Delicate on Dry if you are using uh, Art Rage Light. Uh, I've changed the name here to Light Wash. But uh, what I'm doing is just taking a very, very kind of a light green and I'm going to just color in the uh, the leaves, uh, trying to be as neat as I can. But again, this is kind of emulating watercolor, so uh, I'm not going to worry too much if I go over the edge. Um, now, I will also, uh, as, as we do this, I'm going to talk about how I would do this if I was doing it in real watercolors. Uh, and uh, there are two different ways uh, to approach this. One is, uh, uh, well, they're both really kind of a dry brush technique, but uh, depending on the effect you're trying to get, uh, it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, one would be to um, wet each leaf individually. So I would go in and I'd paint clear water in uh, in a leaf and then I would come back uh, with the color while the paper was still wet. Um, and uh, so that's that's one way to do it. Another way, uh, another dry brush technique uh, would be to uh, to actually use color uh, on dry paper. And that's uh, really what the uh, this particular uh, watercolor brush is emulating here is uh, uh, is so watercolor on dry paper. Um, now, one thing with uh, with Art Rage is uh, again the, the the watercolor brushes come close. They don't always uh, you know truly approximate it. But they do kind of give you a good feel. Now, like up in that uh, leaf up in the upper, uh, on the right side near the top, uh, I've got some marks there that I don't like. And I'll go back in uh, just a few minutes and, and try to clean those out. But uh, anyway, we're going to just continue coloring the leaf in. And one thing, uh, if you're doing this with Art Rage, uh, one thing that makes a difference as I go in and try to fix that up just a little bit is uh, if you take your stylus off of the tablet then it's like starting over again and that's why I'm getting that effect there uh, that I don't really want and I, I will come back in and, and fix that up in just a minute but uh, okay so I'm just going to go around take the paint and fill in just around the edge. This is actually the first coat and again this is very similar to what I would do with uh, with regular watercolor. I'm going to finish uh, getting the leaves and then the stems painted and then I'm going to uh, glaze. I'm going to go back in with a darker color to uh, to enhance the, the the shape of the leaves a little bit. So uh, so anyway, I'm going to get the leaves colored in, and I'm going to come back and make my brush a little... Well, actually, I'm going to go back here and try to get rid of that. I'm not having a lot of luck with that right now. Uh, you know, when you're doing digital art, uh, it's uh, and you're trying to imitate physical art, um, you know, there, there are some trade-offs. It just doesn't always uh, uh, work the way you want it to, so you have to kind of play around and, and figure out what's going to uh, give you the effect that you're trying to get. Okay, so we're getting close and getting that smoothed out a little bit. I'm going to make that brush a little smaller now so I can go in and uh, do the stems there. And once that one's done, then we're going to move into the second phase, which is going to be glazing. And uh, I'm going to go to a different brush for this one. It says dry brush glazing, actually in uh, uh, in the uh, Art Rage Light program, you'll see it as uh, dried strokes. And um, what that does is it, it uh, treats it as if the paper has dried and the color has dried on it. And so now I'm coming back in, uh, and actually, actually, I'm still with the same color. I'm just coming in darker. 
and getting a little bit of differentiation there so it just doesn't look like a flat color. Glazing is really a cool part of watercolor, and uh, that's one of the things with, uh, with true watercolor. Um, it, for the most part, is transparent, which means you can lay one color on top of another and it will uh, alter the color underneath it. Uh, now, that's not true of all watercolors, uh, but uh, a good portion of watercolors have some level of transparency. I'm making my brush a little bigger here so I can uh, come back in and again continue to get that that nice glazing effect and just do a little bit of shading so that my my leaves look not just flat you want to give them a little dimension you want to give them uh, again a little bit of the effect that the light is hitting them and that there's some shadowing and I'm going to come back in and hit this one down here a little bit and I'll finish off with the one up on the top. And for some reason with that particular one, I'm not getting quite the darkness that I would like. And I'm coming in again. Here I'm lifting the stylus actually off of the off of the tablet to get it to go a little darker each time. I'm going to try one more uh, brush. Now I I uh, tried that and I don't like that effect, so I'm going to go away from that. Undo it. I'm going to go down to uh, it says on there strong color mix. The actual name on Art Rage Light is harsh lines. That's going to give me a little stronger color. And now I'm getting what I wanted to get with that leaf, which is a, a little darker look. And I'm going to do the same thing over on this one. Let's darken it up just a little bit. Again, it's, uh, I haven't changed the color at all. I'm just coming back in with the, the same color, getting a little bit more intensity in the color. A little bit more differentiation between the light and the dark, the values. And I want to kind of smooth that out just a little bit. And just a little bit more dark down here. Okay. And finish that one out. And that's going to pretty much wrap it up for doing the leaves. Get a little darker under this one, particularly because it's under the flowers. And once I finish that, that'll take care of that. We'll go on to uh, the uh, doing the, the flowers after, well, I'm going to do the, the stems. Can't forget them. Now, let's go to the flowers. <laughs> 